All right, guys, what is up? Um, I'm going to be reacting and watching the Silent Hill trailers. A lot were released. We have Silent Hill 2 Remake, Silent Hill F, Townfall, Ascension, Return to Silent Hill. I know F is a game. I don't know what Townfall or Ascension is. And then there's Return to Silent Hill, which is a new movie which is coming out. A lot of Silent Hill stuff. This franchise has been dead for like at least 10 years. And they're bringing it back in... Uh, back to back to life full force um with a lot of content is it too much content i don't know i don't know when so um i have not the only thing i have seen i love silent hill 2 i was at work and i did watch the trailer um i briefly watched it this is the silent hill 2 full uh full presentation i have not seen the full presentation um so we're gonna watch uh we're gonna watch all the trailers and uh i know i don't do this kind of stuff and i don't know if anybody cares but too bad i'm doing it Could she really be here, waiting for me? Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. One thing, really, really cool. Before we continue on with the trailer. Creature design, uh, Mashiro Ito. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I believe he worked on the original Silent Hill 2 and did the original creature design. I believe that is why this is listed. Music, Akira Yamaoka. He did the original music for the original game. So I'm very excited about that, that they brought Yamaoka back. Um, I, It's a different... Co I, they have... I don't know. They, they brought some people back that worked on the original to work on this, which is a great thing, and I love that. So anyways, let's continue. But it's all over now. I don't need you anymore. I'm ready. Okay, my thoughts on the trailer. I'm hyped for this game. I really am. Um, you get the scene in the bathroom from the beginning. Um, I like the scene, like seeing him pull down the noose from that one puzzle in the original. Um, 
it's weird because there's some environmental shots like uh, uh where is it? Like there's a couple scenes um like uh whatever. But like yeah, like like this, like environmental shots like this, it looks it looks great. Um, what made the original Silent Hill two so good was its atmosphere. Um, the story was good, music was amazing, gameplay wasn't the best. Some of the puzzles were good, some of them were like mediocre-ish. Um, the graphics, I don't know how I feel about it, cause it looks. The graphics are good, but they're not going for realism. Like, there's a couple scenes where it's like, uh, it looks interesting. Like, um, like it looks weird. Like, I don't, I don't know if I agree with it. Like, James looks good. Obviously, they changed his face. I knew that, obviously, like, they're gonna do that. So, I mean, this isn't the James I'm used to, but, I mean, I mean, I can get over that. I can get used to that. Um, but, like, scenes like this, where it's like, you see the... The, um, like the weird, like, you know, the body fall, and it's just like, yeah, like, it, it looks, it's not realistic, it's almost like, not cartoonish, but like, it almost has like, um, I was talking to one of my friends, it almost has an, and we both agreed, it ha almost has like an art style similar to like, Dead by Daylight or something. Um... So yeah, this this scene here, him pulling down the noose, um, that was interesting for the trailer. And then, and then Mary on like this gazebo or whatever, that's cool. Um, in the original game, it was like on a rooftop. Also, Pyramid Head. This is not a good look at him. It is a very brief look, but like, it doesn't look as like distorted or or i wish it was i don't know pyramid head looks interesting the art style i don't know how i feel about it it looks like it'll be third person which that is what i expected it but like the graphics are good it looks good but it i don't it doesn't look like they're going for the same type of realism and stuff that like the resident evil 2 and 3 makes did um which that's what i on it that's what i would have preferred um, now the question is, this game, obviously, it'll be a good way for new people to experience Silent Hill 2, because it is very hard to experience the original version in a good state or whatever. Um, it's just not really offered, you can't really buy it places. So this is a good way for newer audiences, younger people, to get introduced to the Silent Hill franchise. Silent Hill 2 is a great way to be introduced into the franchise, that's how I was introduced into the franchise. Um, so that's good. But the thing is, even if this... I don't, like, I don't know if this can replace the original. If, if that makes sense. Because while I'm hyped for this game, and I'm sure it'll be great and amazing, the original is just so good that it's like, maybe this will be better, maybe it'll be just as good, but I, it, it won't replace it. Like... I, I don't think that it could replace it, is what I'm saying, because it is a little different, because it looks like there's a different spin on it with the third person camera, um, and I'm sure the combat's gonna be completely different, the art style's different, it's newer. Um, also, it's only on PS5. That freaking sucks. Not even on PC or Xbox. I heard there were some leaks that maybe it'll only be exclusive to PlayStation for a year. I don't know why it was only PS5. Um, cause you can't get a PS5, it's freaking impossible unless you pay like, from a, like, secondhand sellers and stuff. Um, also, I don't really care much for this cover that they have. It's kind of like, I don't know, just James walking, Silent Hill 2, and then Mary's face. It's not bad, the original Silent 2... The original Silent Hill games, they don't have great, um, 
Uh, yeah, see Silent 2. PlayStation console exclusive. Also available on PC, not available on other format. Oh, it is available on PC. Okay, okay. So it is PC and... Okay. Okay, that's good, that's good. I thought it was only... It's just only on PS5 for a year and then it'll come to Xbox um, is what it seems like. Okay, at least it is coming out on PC. Okay, that's good. Um, that's good, that's good. Um, yeah, what I was saying. The original Silent Hill 2 didn't have a great game cover. This one isn't bad, but it's just... I don't know. It could have been more. Just It's just basic, you know? Not much going for it. Um, let's watch what else they have to say. Because I'm, I'm very curious. Welcome to Silent Hill Transmission, the show that keeps you informed about Silent Hill. My name is Selena, and I'll be your facilitator. Thank you very much for having me. And? Silent Hill Series のプロデューサーを務める岡本元井です。今日はよろしくお願いします。まずはじめにサイレントフィル2の映像をご覧いただきましたそしてですねより詳しくお伝えするために一緒にゲームを作っている人をお呼びしていますでは早速ご紹介いたしますコンセプトアーティストの伊藤正弘さんです伊藤さん今日はよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いします改めまして岡本さん伊藤さんサイレントフィルが帰ってくるんですねはいそうなんですファンの皆さん本当に大変お待たせしましたサイレントヒルが帰ってきてその第一弾としてサイレントヒル2をリメイクいたします伊藤さんにお声掛けしたからそろそろ三年ですよねいや本当長かったですよねでもこうしてこのタイトルをまたこう再出できるっていうそのタイミングを皆さんにお伝えできるっていうことに僕はねすごく興奮しておりますあの伊藤さんの場合ツイッターにもすごくファンの方がコメントされているのでもう隠してるのも大変だったんじゃないですかいやそうなんですよあの岡本さんにあの苦情してされてましたから<笑><笑>そのことにあの本当にファンからいろいろ質問されてそれをのらりくらりと交わすのが大変でしていや僕らもちょっと脇で見ていてあのちょっとドキドキしておりました<笑>それでですね「サイレントヒルといえばもう一方作曲家の山岡明さん山岡さんとも一緒に作っているんですけれどもちょっと本日はですね残念ながらこの場に来られなかったのでビデオメッセージをお預かりしておりますどうぞご覧ください山岡ですもう20 This is Yamaoka. He did. He was the original composer for the game. 1年ですか20年以上経った作品でリメイクという形でまた新しい作品としてですね蘇るということで、まあ、個人的にも僕的にもすごく嬉しく思っています、うん、当時はそのいろいろこうチャレンジしようというか、うん、ビデオゲームっていう中でも新しいものというか今までにないものをタイテーマとしても作ろうみたいなところもあって当時ディレクターがドストエフスキーの「罪と罰」を読んでくださいって言われて。何を作るんだろうなとで音楽ももちろんですけど模索というかすごいいろいろチャレンジしてた思いではありますこのタイトルであれば新しい音楽っていうものを作り上げられるかなっていうのはすごい感じてましたいまあ、未だに20年経ってもですねサイレントヒルっていうタイトルがみんなの心の中に残ってるっていうのは僕はすごくやってよかったというか本当にこの上ない嬉しさというか気持ちでもありますでリメイクに関してもまたさらに新しい音楽性であったり新しいチャレンジもそうかもしれないですし従来のファンの方にもきちっと届けられる心に刺さるサウンドデザインだったり音楽だったり、ま、もちろんサイレントヒルを知らないサイレントヒル2を知らないユーザーさんにとってもその時サイレントヒル2が初めて出た時のインパクトというか衝撃というか作れたらいいなと思っています、えー、皆さんもぜひ楽しみにしていてください山岡さんありがとうございますコナミのサウンドね若いスタッフみんな山岡さんのことを尊敬しているのでみんなワクワクしながら一緒に仕事させていただいておりますそしてですね日本だけでなく
制作チームについてのお話もさせてください今回の「サイレントヒル2」はポーランドのホラーゲームのスペシャリストブルーバーチームで制作しています、まあ、彼らからコメントと制作風景をいただいてますのでこちらもどうぞご覧くださいはい。This is why we approach our work with a great respect to original game. To ensure that we are keeping this unique Silent Hill atmosphere intact, we are working closely with original creators such as Masahiro Ito and Akira Yamaoka. We want Silent Hill 2 to make the same strong impression today that the original game did 21 years ago. While we want to achieve the same end result, players' expectations evolve over time, and certain things need to be modernized to have the same or similar effect. For example, that's why we went with the over the shoulder camera, so we can immerse players into the game world as much as possible. Okay, it is third person. No more set camera angles. We are creating a synergy where new or modernized mechanics and features actually support the original spirit of Silent Hill 2. Combining the old with the new is no easy task, but we believe we are on the right track. To put it simply, our goal is to recreate everything what made the game a timeless classic, but give it a new form which will draw players even deeper into the foggy streets of Silent Hill. Interesting. I'm very excited. I'm also just.、Um, I, was, I was thinking, like, oh my god, I'm going to have to buy. PS5 to play this game. But if it comes out on PC、uh, at the release, that's awesome.、Um, that is cool.、Uh, has no release date yet. That's the thing. It's like we have, it has no release date. So it's, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe a good thing then gives some other people more time to hopefully get PS5s because they're like, they just came out and they're basically extinct.、Um, oh my God, there's still so much other stuff and we're. Let's just watch this. This is called Silent Hill F. That's nasty, bro. Press F to pay respects, I guess.
That's the original theme from the first game, but just more... Like, Japanese and, like... Interesting. Uh... I'm curious about that. It looks... It looks interesting. Uh, but also weird. Uh, is a completely new story set in 1960s Japan. Get a brief look at the game's uh, beautiful yet horrifying world. Um, it looks interesting, a little weird and different. Um, but I mean, different might be what's good for Silent Hill in this. I don't know. Um, it looks good. There's not a lot. The trailer was interesting. Uh, I don't know. Let's look at the townfall. Why are you here? No. In this place, why are you here? You're to be punished. That's good, I like it. You know what, I think you're right. I think we've done something so awful. That we are stuck here in this place, being judged by these people. But for you, I think it's more than that. No cocaine. I think you're here for some other reason. And I don't want to be anywhere near you. When you figure that out. I, okay. I have no idea what that is. Uh, Konami. The creators of Stories Untold, a no-co game comes a spin-off of the Silent Hill franchise. Not much is known about Silent Hill Town Fall as of yet. Uh, but it's meant to be an expanded concept on Silent Hill, and NoCo's prior games were inspired by the horror of Silent Hill. No release date. So there looks like all this Silent Hill event was is just showing the stuff that is coming, but no dates. Oh, wait, hold on. Which one's this called? Uh, Silent Hill Ascension. Okay. I hear it. Is it after me? I'm in there. Oh, she, oh, she, oh, she. Twenty twenty three. Okay, at least this one has a year. Face your trauma together. Essential dot com. But it it did sound like that um from the Silent Hill two remake trailer, it did sound like that they were gonna revive Silent Hill as a series starting with the two remake. So if this has a date of 2023, I'm assuming then the Silent Hill 2 remake will be sometime. Uh, and this as well. Uh, check out Nostra trailer. For a new interactive streaming series, Ascension. Put a brand new Silent Hill story and characters in the hands of the audiences as the narrative, narrative unfolds. Live on multiple platforms, Silent Hill Ascension is a col collaboration between... Genvid Entertainment Bad Robot Games. So it's a streaming series. So it's like, it's like one of those like, kind of like a Telltale game or something. It's like a video kind of thing, but you can interact or like you choose. I don't know. You can choose the decisions. Uh, this is the Silent Hill that I think screenshots were. Yeah. Okay. This. I I don't know if like these post-it notes and then like this weird um like cherry blossom thing. Like these are all, these were all like leaked like a couple months back. So I like, and also like this. So I wonder if that's what that Ascension thing is. And then there's Return to Silent Hill, which, 
which is a movie which is made by the director who directed the original Silent Hill movie. I've seen that movie, and I like that movie. I haven't seen the second one, which is like Revelation or something. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie. Anyways, let's watch this. This is the first original movie. The original Silent Hill movie. This return is my return to a world, a universe, that I have uh, touched in uh, 2006. That's the director. The film was a great success. Movie. And we decided to go back to the best of his stories, I mean Silent Hill 2. The film is the story of a young guy coming back to Silent Hill where he has known uh, a great love. And what he's going to find is a, a pure nightmare. I have the chance of being very close with Kristoff, and we together has achieved to, to convince Konami that there is a new uh, version of Silent Hill that needs to be done, and they are 100% on board. In the first Silent Hill, we were exploring a world, the world of this small town completely closed into, into the mist. It was like being trapped into the, a twilight zone. But in the second game, you know, the, the creator of the game have changed the rules, you know. We were basically going back to Silent Hill, the same town, but we were looking at this strange world entirely through the, the point of view of the hero we were playing. Mary, could you really be in this town? He realized that Mary is lost somewhere into this strange place. At its core, it's also the idea of the myth of Orpheus. And whatever a, a man can go deep in hell to bring back the soul or the person he loved the most in his life. So it's much more about psychological horror. Even if we are going to find again all the same creature and the same strange terror sequence, something like that, but the first big interrogation and the first big terror is about ourselves. Are we mad? Are we sane? Are, are we sane to go back to Silent Hill to find this great love? This one now has so many years from the first one that there is a clear idea from Christoph to make it modern but also very true to the video game. And that's also what it is. We are also respecting the will of the author, the producers, and Konami into this uh, adaptation. Christoph, it's really somebody that respects the work that has been done, but that also has his own vision. It nurtures the creative vision of the authors from the game, but with a different vision from a filmmaker. And both, they have created, I believe, something that has struck the mind of the fans. James! Stop! Leave her alone! The Game of Silent Hill franchise were great artistic achievements, and I have a responsibility to transpose that on a big screen, you know? Christoph is a real gamer. He has been immersed in this world. That's why he's a real gamer. He's not a fake gamer. Um, the first film was so well received by the fans of Silent Hill because they felt that uh, I was one of them and it was so important for me to, to respect the original creation, you know. That, that was the base, the, the start of everything. Everything starts from this respect. So I'm going with a maximum of humility, a maximum of respect, but in the same time I have quite a charge, quite a goal, which is how to transpose the language of the game, which is entirely about immersion, into a tale, into a story that we can tell in 90 or 100 minutes. The monsters are also one of the key elements that the fans are waiting for. And we are updating those in a way that the creation is similar, but they will be striking. For me, one of my major goals in, in, in this film is how to redesign the classic monster of Silent Hill. Uh, I was talking about Red Pyramid, you know, the big guy with the helmet, you know. He's, again, in this one. 
some of the creatures of the film of, uh, back in uh, 2006 were very, very appreciated by, by the fans. But in the same time, for me, it was, it was important to come back with, with surprise. It's a new universe. It's a new challenge. And those are very important to bring these icons differently to the audience because they want them to have that wow effect. That's why, you know, I found a very interesting collaboration with the people of Konami. They helped me a lot to achieve this new design of the monster because they are also working on new episodes for the franchise of Silent Hill. Episodes. The younger audience, they want that collective experience. They want to be with their friends, they want to talk about it, but they want also... You said working on other episodes of Silent Hill. I'm assuming it just means other games and stuff that are being worked on, just other media, like a bunch of other games and stuff. To live that experience together. We all know that uh, watching an horror film alone at his home is quite different of being into a big theater with a crowd and, and everybody jumping at the same time. It's very different. We are modernizing. We are giving him what the audience of today is really wanting. We are trying to do as much as possible, creating a new experience for that audience. Could be more immersive, interactive, and we have now new technologies, but we still have what makes the best is the story. And this story is at the core of it. So we hope that Return to Silent Hill will be a great return. And hmm. if we want uh, to keep the link with the audience, you know, we have to, to be perfectly aware that everything has changed in 15 years. Everything has been washed away. We have to bring back something, you know, very surprising. Any date? No, lovely. Okay. Hmm. So, this new movie, they don't show much. They show some of the storyboard. I like the original movie. Some people hate it. Some people dislike it. I, I enjoy it. It's obviously not a perfect movie. But as a video game adaptation into a movie, it is one of the best ones we have. Um, up there with, like, Mortal Kombat and... Like, the original Mortal Kombat. The first original Mortal Kombat. Annihilation. Garbage movie. Never watch it. It is horrible um and the new mortal kombat was good too uh there's other good video game movies but that's not what we're talking about um i like the original movie silent hill uh pyramid head is pyramid head is like is exclusive to like james he's a like his whole design james is guilty and he ha and he has the feeling and need to be punished so pyramid head is in james own purgatory personal hell to punish him because james feels the need to be punished by him so um but in the 2006 movie um they uh he's just a monster that's in there he just appears for like a, a scene or two which is fine yeah he's there for a couple scenes he's cool but I mean, it, it's like he is personal to James, so it's like it doesn't make sense that he's there. But it, it's a movie, not the game. So it was cool to see him, um, and he looked a little different. Um, I think some of the more like the American Konami games, they added Pyramid Head back into it, which made no sense because you shouldn't have been in them. Any, um, I haven't played those ones. I've only played the uh, the Konami ones. Um, I'm excited for the movie. I am. Uh, sounds like we're getting a lot of Silent Hill 2. Remake of Silent Hill 2 and a movie that's heavily based on Silent Hill 2. So bottom line, I'm very excited. But I'm also nervous at the same time. I hope that it's not overkill. And they just kind of revive it with so much stuff that it just kind of just... Um, I'm most excited for the remake of Silent Hill 2, of course. That's one of my favorite games. I hope it's good. I hope it's... Um, I will always love the original, whether I love the remake more or less, or the same. That is what I'm curious to know. So it looks like it'll be a different take and a more modern take. And I'm excited for the movie. Um, the Silent Hill F seemed interesting, but I don't know. The two remake and F, and then the movie, those are like the actual things where we know a decent amount 
of it, even though we don't have a trailer for the movie. But Ascension and Townfall are just like, there's other stuff in the works, so at least we know about it. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you'd enjoy. I'm looking forward to the future of Silent Hill, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.